Okay, so here we have a flag gate. Well, I've loaded this up to talk about it because it's a special case, as is the pylon. The pylon is the same. With a flag gate, you don't actually know which way, when you reset, the quad should be pointing. So with flags and pylons, because you could be flying around here and then going off down this direction, or you could be coming down here and then flying back that way. So if you were to crash after this flag, there's no right answer as to which way you should be pointing. So what we do with flag gates and with pylon gates is that if you crash after these and you get reset to this reset point, then the quad will be orientated to be pointing directly at the next gate. So you've got to be careful here. So if your next gate, for instance, was a hoop, let's just put a hoop over here, just going to take this round, like so. If I was to place a tree here, so let's get one of these nice tall trees, put the tree like that, and put it directly in line like so, when you reset now, your quad is going to be directly facing a tree, which is really not ideal in a race situation because you can't take off and it's going to be very hard to avoid this tree. So in situations like this, you just want to be careful to make sure that you align things correctly. So you would want to move this this way a little bit and maybe take the tree and move it that way a little bit so that when you come around here, and you reset to this point, you have a nice clear view to the next gate and you haven't got a massive tree in the way. Okay, so that's the special case for flag gates.